Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. Welcome to Breland's Books. Today, I'm going to be doing my November wrap-up and my December TBR. It is crazy that it is already December. This month went by so quickly, but in such a weird way. You know, some months go really quickly, and then other months, it's like the days go by super slow, but then all of a sudden, it's like the month's gone and it's just done. I read... Two, three, four... 11 books this month which means there is one on here that was not in my TBR it was supposed to be in my TBR for December but I just picked it up because I need another book to read because I still have like a week left normally I do a lot of like I read like a chunk of a book and then I put it down for a couple days read another chunk of a different book you know and I jump around a lot more but this month it was a lot of like just marathon reading lots of books this month the first one that I have for you guys is Blood Promise from the Vampire Academy. This one was really high on my to read list because it was left over from my October TBR. So I hadn't been super into it in October, but then I just like sat down and I got really into it. And then it got so good. Like I wish I just picked it up a little more in October because then I would have finished it. I really loved it. I'm really excited to see where the series goes from here. And just... Yes, I'm so excited. It was fantastic. Last month I wasn't excited about this, but this book got me back, got me excited about this series again, and I think it got brighter. Woohoo, sunlight! So that one I finished like in a day. It took me just a few hours to finish it. The next one was 10,000 Skies Above You. This is the second in the Firebird trilogy. I am obsessed. I am so obsessed with this trilogy. I have the third one, it's on my TBR, and I am so excited to see how it ends. This was so good. And once I finish the trilogy, I'm going to do a longer review of, like, a full review of the trilogy. So I'm not going to talk a lot about it. But I'm pretty sure I gave it five stars on Goodreads, and I should have. And I think the other one I gave four stars, maybe three, not sure. But I was just, I love the character. I want to read more of Claudia Gray. I don't, I, she, yes, fantastic book. Next one that I have for you guys has been one that's been on my TBR shelf for forever. I think I bought this either my freshman or sophomore year, so either two or three years ago, and it is Eleanor and Park, and it is so good. I cried so many tears, you guys. I, like, instantly, I related to Eleanor a lot, not with not, not with her situation at all, um, but with, like, the way she responds to things and, like, her sense of humor and just... I love it so much. I think I gave this five stars too. I read this in a day, the same day that I finished uh, Thousand Skies Above You, I fit 10,000 Skies Above You, I picked this up a couple hours later, expecting to just get a good start on it, and I finished it that night, and I came in to say goodnight to my dad, and I was crying, and he was like, seriously, you were reading, and I was like, yeah, hence the tears, dude, wow. The next one that I finished was The Wizard Air by Cinda Williams Chima. This another, it was high on my priority list. I didn't love this. I wasn't super, I didn't really care about the new protagonist. This, uh, these, this series, I'm pretty sure it's going to continue as an anthology where each one is a different set of people just in the same world. And what it did is it eventually tied back into the other characters, but they weren't as important. And it kind of made the first protagonist whose name is Jack it kind of made him seem like kind of a jerk and I was just so I would I, this was kind of just like a, I needed to get through it I'm hoping that I like the third one more because I did real I enjoyed the first one so I'm hoping to enjoy the third one more but we'll see the next one that I finished was Requiem by Lord Oliver I adored the ending this was so good I was so excited pandemonium was amazing and then this made it made me so excited to finish it and it was so good and that Friday, the video that I missed was supposed to be a review of the full trilogy. So that'll get posted eventually. Probably, that'll get posted in December. A full trilogy, a full review of this trilogy. So good. Yes. The ending especially, just, yes. The next one that I finished was I Was Here by Gail Foreman. I really enjoyed this book. I love, I do, it's not as good in my opinion as I Was Here or, no, this is I was here. <laughs> it's not in good, as good, in my opinion, as If I Stay. And I am interested to see if she does a duology type thing. I don't think it's necessary to. Um, I enjoyed the romance storyline, and I would like to see where they are in a few years. Just to see, how, mostly to see how the character's doing. Because this, this dealt with some really intense stuff. Um, the pictures of people on the front, though, not how I pictured them at all. Not 
anywhere near what I how I pictured them. It was a good storyline. I just I would read if you haven't read Gail Foreman, I would go with If I Stay. I would recommend this if you like Gail Foreman, but if you don't really know Gail Foreman's stuff yet, read something else of hers first. The next one that I read was Killer by Sarah Shepard. This is part of the Pretty Little Liars series, and I enjoy the Pretty Little Liars series. I've said it before. It's not the best series that I've ever read, but it's interesting enough that I am going to finish it. I just ordered on Black Friday. There was a huge sale, and I ordered a bunch more Pretty Little Liars books, so yay, spending money. My favorite part of this book, and kind of the last one started it, but then this one had a lot more of it, was the character Emily Fields, who on the show, the big thing was, like, she's gay. In the books, she's bisexual. And I really wish the show had gone into that. But she, in the books, she, you know, has her relationship with Maya St. Germain, and then it doesn't end super well. And then there's now she's dating a guy named Isaac, and I really like Isaac, and his mom's kind of crazy, but he's alright. Um, I, I think that I like some of the storylines in the book better than some of the storylines in the movie, in the show, I mean. Because in the show, it feels like they were just trying to keep their main couples together, like, from the beginning. Like, Spoby and Ezra and Hala, all of the, they just wanted them all to end up together. But in this, there's it's a lot more realistic, where you fall in love with someone, or you fall in like with someone, and then stuff ends, and you move on, and you're okay. The next one, I finished the Beautiful Creature series with Beautiful Redemption. I really enjoyed this how it was written where we got some from Lena's perspective I thought that was really cool um I liked Lena's a lot more than I liked Ethan's parts because I was just kind of like okay Ethan bye um the ending was sad it was sad but I did enjoy it it was a good ending I in my opinion the first one's always going to be my favorite in this series but definitely would say that judging from the entire series as a whole it is worth the read the first two and the four, the first two and the fourth one are a lot. I don't really, I didn't enjoy Beautiful Chaos, but this one I think did kind of redeem itself. <laughs> and yeah, the next one. This was one of my Thanksgiving books on Thanksgiving every day, every year. I try and read an entire book. I had already kind of started this one, so I have two Thanksgiving books this year that were like half finished, but. One of them is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer. I really enjoyed this. Magnus Chase is funny. I really like Sam. I think she's a very important character to be portrayed. And I love Rick Riordan for including her as a character and talking about her hijab and stuff like that. I think that's really important. And I'm glad that she's in it. And I love her. And she's cool and she kicks butt. And yeah, I kind of saw the whole thing with Odin coming. If you haven't read this, I'm sorry. Uh, I kind of saw that coming, so that wasn't as shocking. But, I still really enjoyed it. I like Mallory. I think, I really want to see more of Mallory. I also want to see a lot more of him interacting with Annabeth. Because I think their little banter about, like, how weird his life is. And she's like, I can handle it. And that, like, I thought that was funny. Because neither of them really know what's going on with the other one. So I would love to see more interaction between them and the next one. The next one that I have for you guys is The Retribution of Mara Dyer. Finishing out the Mara Dyer trilogy. This was my least favorite of the trilogy. Because it got kind of creepy. And just the ending it was it was suspenseful and it was good but it was a it was a different kind of creepy from the rest of the from the other two books and the ending I just I didn't yeah I still really like the book I would still really recommend reading this to any this trilogy to anyone but this was definitely not my favorite um there was some stuff I didn't see a lot of it you don't see coming it's confusing it's crap but with Noah in particular, in this book, there was some stuff related to him and his family that I did not see coming. It's very confusing, but I enjoy it a lot. There's just some parts that were a little hard to read because they were just a little, little hard to read. And then this is the book that I was not expecting it through. Those are my 10 that were on my TBR. This is my 11th little bonus book. Woohoo! And that is Ugly is by Scott Westerfield. I've had this book since middle school and I haven't read it and I'm a senior. I started reading it in the fifth grade, or no, in the sixth grade, when I got the book. I got the book in sixth grade. I'm so... I started it because my really good friend was reading it, but I just, I wasn't in a place to read a lot. I didn't read a lot in sixth grade, in the first little bit of sixth grade, and then I started reading other stuff, and I started reading Harry Potter, and it just, I never got around to it. But I finally got back to it, and I really enjoyed it. I loved 
I feel like the relationships were very natural and it was very realistic how there was so much other stuff going on like no she wasn't gonna focus in on this relationship and it was gonna come up and kind of it caught her by surprise and I like those kind of relationships where they have those moments where they realize they're like ooh like in Glee when Kurt sings Blackbird for his canary bird's funeral and then Blaine realizes that he I've been rewatching I've been rewatching Glee so if there's a lot of Glee references I'm sorry um, or like in the Vampire Diaries when Caroline is singing at her mom's funeral and Stefan has that whole dramatic brooding vampire look on his face and then he realizes I love those moments. I think those are fabulous moments because it's so true. Like you can spend so much time with someone and then something happens and you see them differently. And for Tally Youngblood, she had one of those moments in this book and yes, but it's not just about the romance and there's so much about their society and so this is like body body images but like society has them not just like individual and it's not just like part of society like no their society is founded around body issues and things like that and a lot of like how can you see yourself as pretty and ugly and stuff and just you everyone should read this book it is so good and I'm so excited to read the next one so those are my 11 books that I read for the, this month. I have 10 books on my TBR for December as per usual. And yep, let's just get through this. So Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead. It's the fifth in the Vampire Academy series. I'm really excited to see where the series goes. So that'll be, woo. I don't have any books this month that I'm not excited to read, which is really good because it means I'll get through them no problem, which I'm excited about. Most excited about this one though. A Million Worlds with You by Claudia Gray the third in the Firebird trilogy. This just came out pretty recently. Look at how gorgeous this is. I have all three of them like sitting around me right now and they're just so gorgeous. Yes. Yes. I thought I heard someone downstairs for a second. It's just Singer. Singer's playing outside. And then I've got Zodiac by Romina Russell. I'm super excited to read this. I'm obsessed with like That singer barking at the mailman. Okay. I am obsessed with like zodiacs and I took astronomy last year and I got really into like stars and things like that. And I, no, I don't think it's real, but I think it'd be really cool if it was, which is why this book is cool. Which planet you call home? Their signs are planets. That's dope. I'm so excited. Do you guys, like that whole thing with like NASA where they like added in another sign? Did it mess up your, did it mess up? Because I always liked when my things were accurate. Like, I'm a, I'm a Taurus, or apparently now I would be an Aries. Aries makes a lot more sense. That's like the angriest. <laughs> the Dragon Air by Cinder Williams Chima. I hope I like this more than the second one. It really comes down to who the new protagonist is, if I care or not. If I don't care, then it's kind of just get through it. If I do care, then it'll be enjoyable. Heartless by Sarah Shepard. Another Pretty Li Little Liars book. One of these will be on my TBR probably till I die. There's just so many. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I started reading this book a while back and then I never finished it because I suck. So I'm just going to start it again. I never really committed to it either though, for a reason. But yeah, next, this is probably the books I'm, I'm also really excited about this one, starting out something new. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Aveyard, yep. I've heard really good things about this book and I've got this second one and I'm super excited to read it. I'm very excited to read this. Just the cover, like, intrigued me like I didn't buy it because of the cover I bought it because of how good the reviews have been but the cover when I saw it it did intrigue me I'm like oh there's blood on an upside down crown what's going on here next I have Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard the Hammer of Thor this came out pretty recently I bought it at Walmart and I'm excited and then I have I'm gonna be starting off the Gone series by Michael Grant this is another one that I've had for forever and it sounds super interesting and I'm excited to read all of the adults just vanish one day. Just bye. I'm intrigued by that. I want to read it. This is another one that I started. I read like the first like two chapters, I think. And then I put it down to reread. I put it down when Lady Midnight came out. That's what I did. I'm excited to read this though. Uh, there's, I have the second one and I'm just excited. Wow, this video is longer than I intended it to be. Last but la not least, we have Scott Westfield's Pretties. This is a different cover edition than this because I got this forever ago. Just, yeah, this is the newer covers and I have the third one in the new covers too, so that one's just going to be different. I'm okay with it. So that is my wrap up for the month and my TBR for the next month. I'm really excited about some of these books. 
Uh, if you guys have opinions about any of the books I read or anything you want to say, go feel free to comment stuff down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my ramblings, go ahead and subscribe down below. I would love to have you. I'll put my social media links down in the description along uh, with my Goodreads, and I, like, obsessively keep up with my Goodreads um, and, like, tracking the books that I'm reading. I need to actually go add all of these onto it and update it for t stuff that I've read today. Yeah! I'm super excited for this month's reading. I think that's it. Have a good couple of days. Read a good book. I will see you on Monday.